Hello, it's Floor 23 once again with another unboxing. Um, came earlier than I expected. The bi monthly Firefly cargo crate. Uh, this crate is supposed to be engineered by Q, Q, QMX Online and sponsored by Luke Cape Crate, basically. So, QMX basically wanted to come along and say, hey, we usually send stuff every once in a while. How about we do a bi monthly crate? We get some special, special stuff for just Firefly. So, I'm kind of tempted to see how this is going to turn out. This may be the first and last cargo crate that I get, or maybe one I might decide to keep for a few uh, sessions to see what how well it is. But I love the I love the box. It's pretty cool. Explorer from Persephone. I mean, I'm not gonna show the bottom of it because it's where they have my address and stuff is. So, ha ha ha. So, let's fancy knife. Strap on our pretty blue bonnet, uh, our pretty, pretty floral bonnets, and let's do this in the print. Uh, apparently, the theme was shiny. Uh, they haven't announced the new, the new theme yet, so it's gonna be interesting to see what it's going to be. Now, like I said before, this crate may be a crate I might keep or may not. It just depends. If the items are stuff I could just get from any store, then yeah. I'm not going to keep it. It's just not worth it. So it looks like the first one. Oh, that is so cute. It's a Kaylee bear. That, that is really adorable. It's a teddy bear made to look like Kaylee from Firefly. They even got the patches and stuff on the vest. That is just so darn cute. And everything is shiny, Captain. Um, so this crate definitely looks like the the theme is centered around Kaylee. Yeah, all those things that she does and says. Let's see, this is a Cubits PVC figure. It looks like it's several. It's got, it looks like it's got just about all the different characters from Firefly. So, I wonder if this is going to be. This looks like it's supposed to be a blind box. So it's either going to be an actual blind box or it's going to be a mock blind box and it's just going to be a Kaylee figure. That's pretty cool indeed. So we got a box of stuff around Center and Kaylee, including Kaylee's love. The the doctor. So that's pretty cool. This head looks kinda of lost side of the sorry. Then this is Firefly Cuban Mini Masters figure of Kaylee Fry. So far, it's looking pretty good. Good. Uh, I don't know. 
just got a lot of one of a kind novelties. Well, at least they look one of a kind. Let's see, let's see. Scratches. There's more trouble to unpack on the terminator. When it comes to the show Firefly, she's definitely one of my more favorite characters. I mean, I love a lot of the characters, but she was definitely my favorite. That's cool. So, got her parasol. Let's see if I can get her set up real quick. No, it can't quite tell what she's made out of. It feels vaguely metallic. This is definitely not vinyl. I kind of hope in the box it has a little guide that lets it go. She is just as adorable as she looked when she told uh told the preach guy he was gonna come and join them because he wasn't paying attention to the destinations, he was just looking at ships. Alright, let's see what else is in here. Let's see. Got a five count of shindig parasols. I guess you use these for if you're having cocktails or something, and you want to be fancy with a little umbrella, or if you're making five cupcakes. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Alright, there's a advertisement for the Firefly the game. This is the board game. Which I've contemplated getting. It just I don't know. It seems like it'd be fun. But it might be kinda of complicated. Especially considering it's expansion based. <laughs> Um, that's cute the inside of the box. Looks like the cargo hold. So 
was like a top down look and then and the, so if I could get the angles or something. You do see the cows. Okay, so what else is there? Let's see. There's two cards. They are labeled from Persephone. Looks like these are two uh, cards from the board game. So we've got the Fruity Odie Bar. Discard before rolling to add plus one to any test result, or discard to remove discard from the owner. Cool. Yeah, it's this gateway to the room. And then this one Loot Crate, Silver Hole. Remove from play to use. Draw a card from the Silver Hole Supply Deck. If it is a gear card, keep it. If not, discard it and draw another card. Repeat until a gear card is drawn. That sounds like a very powerful card for a board game. Okay, so it's a loot card. You basically keep drawing until you get loot. It's like a sticker similar to what they put on the side of the crate. So I guess the way someone can say, hey, why did they put that there and not give us one? They did. See, exported from Persephone. And then, ooh, Let's see what this is. Oh my. Oh my. Like some artwork from Firefly. Let's see, this is the Reavership, which we get the first time we see the Reaver, this Reavership was in the first episode of Firefly. There. Trying to get through, and they come across and they're trying to be quiet. Yeah. And then the ship claw that they were scared of. So, so that's pretty cool. So then they've got the so their guide is for this one. It's called the signal. You can't stop the signal. I like the Family Crew Member Edition Exclusive Interview with Jewel Jewel State, Cosplay and Kaylee, and Inside Look. This is going to be pretty cool. I'll definitely look through this. Let's see all the interesting things they had in here about it. Yeah, six here. How to speak Mandarin. So it looked like for the minifig, there is only a chance of two fi figures that you are going to get. You are either going to get Jane Cobb or Simon Tam. So, it was pretty cool. Uh, it would have be been better if it would have been an actual blind box where it could have been any of the ones that they list in the bag. But that's still pretty cool. You got to understand, 
those are two characters that are close to Kaylee. So that's pretty cool. So, um, in conclusion, my thoughts. All in all, this is a pretty good value. It was worth the things. Um, but like I said, I meant for the price that this crate is, even even thinking of it as a bi-monthly crate, uh, you're paying 40 bucks every two months. Uh, so it's essentially you're paying $20 a month. You're only getting something every other month. You you only get about five to seven items and they're supposed to be exclusive Firefly collectibles and all in all it, some of them are pretty pretty much like that now a few things that to me don't count as exclusive because you can find a very of them and that's kind of what I want to approach. Um, these ribbons, they're they're cute. They're really cute. Uh, I can find plenty of interesting things to do with them, but their intended purpose. I mean, they even show you in the book. Their intended purpose. They're for making drinks. You're gonna make a drink and then put it on there. And yeah, if you're, if you're just a small party with some friends, you'll probably be careful and not, not mess it up. But, uh, it's not, it's not a big top line thing. Yeah, it's made to look like very soft. Truth is, if it wasn't for the top on it, if you just went to local craft craft store or something you probably can find these <clears throat> heck with the right stuff you can make these and it wouldn't it probably would have been cheaper than the value that they probably put on these the cubit piece is cool it's cute <clears throat> There, this is probably something that you'd only get from QMX. The problem with that is that it's exclusive in this crate now. Probably in a week or so, it's going to be exclusively on their site. So they'll probably charge more than what they've charged to put it in the in there. The big value items is probably the statue. Because like I said, it's if it's vinyl, it's a heavy vinyl. The parasol feels like it's plastic in parts. But yeah. The the figure the bear. I mean, the bear is pretty cool. Uh, the quality of it, that the bear itself looks kind of like one of those builder bears. And then dressed up in Kaylee's flight suit. Or her mechanics gear, I should say. I mean, it's cool. It's cute. I love it. It's adorable. Exclusive. I'm sure there's many of you out there. I'm sure I'll probably go to the Etsy store and I can find something similar to this or find somebody that would make something like this that would be probably less priced than the, its portion of what the crate, crate is worth. So basically, it's, it comes down to the most unique items that would be hard to replicate 
uh, outside of the crate. Kind of comes up to the shiny button. The kid uh, fig. The cubic kind of, but considering how many variations there are, and they put in the guy that, oh yeah, well yeah, there's, let's see, there's four, eight, nine. there's nine different ones you can get, but uh, you're only going to get choices in two. Kind of takes away the enjoyment of it, because, so I don't know. They haven't announced a new theme for it. I may just stop my sub for this one. Like, see if they have like like the other ones when I put them, when I go to cancel or something. They kind of just put it on hold for you. And I said, okay, well, if you want to come back or you want to unskip this, then just go ahead and do this, and then they'll charge you at that time. Because it kind of holds your place. That way, if it gets close to time where they're running out, they'll hold on to one for you. But all in all, it's like, uh, I mean, the sketches, I like the sketches. That would be a lot harder to replicate. That would be a lot harder to replicate outside. Uh, because these were like really good quality sketches from. Uh, Wherever the props were they used in the movie. So, that I liked. I liked the figure. I mean, I like the stuff that's in it, but for the value, uh, I think I'll take it. I think I may cancel this one or skip it and see if they have a decent uh, theme. Maybe I'll pick it back up in May and see. See if it's worth picking up in May for for that one. So <clears throat> Man, I think I probably rambled on enough. But that was the Firefly Cargo Crate number one. I think I may put it on hold. It may have to go to the back burner. Um, I want to try the uh, Loot Crate DX. I'm hoping they don't run out of those. Because, uh, cause it looks cool. Uh, I like the franchises that will be involved with it. They're going to do Adventure Time, Legends of World of Warcraft. Uh, Adventure Time may not be my my forte, but I have played WoW. kind of like it, off and on. And I really love the Legends of the series. So I'll check that out, see how it pans out. See if it's worth its value, which it runs 50 a month for it. Now, that's pretty steep, but if Loot Crate does what they promise to do with it, and that's make sure that it's higher quality goods, I'll check and see. If it's not truly a hundred dollar value though, yeah, because this, this crate right here, the Firefly crate, it's supposed to be a sixty-five dollar value crate. You tell me. Do these items seem like they add up to sixty-five dollars? Not even if you included the price of construction of the box. 
this to me is probably to be generous 40. That's putting the bear at somewhere about 15. Putting this somewhere about 20. Actually that's generous. This is more like like 15. So 15 maybe 10 says so 25 30 Could bring it to forty. Yeah, and then at least say do forty five. For no forty nine even. Yeah. And I paid $39.99. So I may have got like my money's worth, but this was in no way a $65 value print. Alright, even even with the Firefly stamp on it, it's definitely not worth that much. So I hope I didn't bring you guys down. But I figure I since I got it, go ahead and do this video so now. See what you guys think. Uh, if you think I'm wrong, put it in the comments below. Uh, I'm not gonna block. I'm not gonna block legitimate arguments for for it. Um, if QMX wants to complain because I said that this didn't value it, hey, I'm I'm the I'm a consumer. I'm not saying that my voice is God. Yeah, uh, you want, if you look great, need to take another look at this and see because the value is not there for this. I know some people that are probably going to get this and think, uh, you know what? I don't think I want this again. So. I was I was looking forward to this. I was expecting maybe like something like maybe uh, Firefly because if it's shiny, if it's supposed to be shiny, it's supposed to be on Kaylee. You can't have Kaylee without the Firefly. I'm sorry, I was hoping for a Firefly replica, um, but hey, sorry. I got a river ship. So, so that's so that's it for the unboxing of the Firefly Carpet Crate. And uh, we'll see what next month comes with. Oh, I forgot the value of these. <laughs> that's like an extra two bucks. Sorry. It's low, but you got cards that probably supposed to be kind of like a limited edition type thing, but they're from a board game I don't have. Uh, and then you get an effort about it. Um, okay. I mean, they could have even just done a full booster, one of the smaller ones. Let's say, hey, here you go, there's the booster. But, all right, well, I'll probably show my friend, show these off to some of my friends and see what they think. And for you guys that are looking forward to the next look great, uh, I haven't got another. Uh, message yet for I'm still waiting to find out when they're gonna send me the gaming crate 
uh, it should be the way they, the way it reads is should be coming this month. It's either gonna come sometime next week or they may uh, send me information about it come April. We're hoping for early April. And hopefully it'll be a lot better quality. Alright. Um, this is Sarah Flores signing out. Y'all have a good evening and happy creating. Don't forget to like, su like subscribe, uh, comment if you want. Let me know if you think this is worth $65. If this is a six five dollar value, and if it's worth thirty nine ninety nine every two months, I look forward to reading your comments to see what you think. Uh, tell me what you think should have been included instead of or to go with these shiny objects from our from the mechanic Kaylee. You guys have a good evening, and this is Zach Floor signing out.